as another school year begins, one issue that many students face is bullying. We recently sat down with Director of Needham Youth Services, John Madelman, to discuss the effects of bullying and how to prevent it. When you see bullying happening, oftentimes young people don't know what to do. Do they say something? Do they not say something? It's so easy to be a bystander, but I tell young people, be an upstander. Intercede in the moment or tell a trusted adult. Often children don't know what constitutes bullying. Well, there's been debated about what it is, but something which is hurtful, which is repeated, which is too, too personal, um, are things that fall under that category. The school has their own guidelines around bullying. The schools are very sensitive to that. Matter of fact, in Massachusetts, there are new laws around bullying, so kids who are involved in bullying actually get suspended from school and they go through our bullying intervention program. Not all bullying takes place in person. Interestingly enough, as kids get older, the in-person bullying decreases, but cyberbullying actually increases. So we have to be careful of not only what happens moment to moment, say in school, between people, but what happens online is a really important part that parents need to recognize and be attentive to. While bullying can cause depression, anxiety, and sleep issues in the short term, it also can have long-term effects. But we know from studies that bullying is very deep and very hurtful and long-lasting. We know that people who act out, drinking, drugging, really can trace a lot of this back to their feelings of themselves emanating from their bullying. So it happens a lot. People are more aware of it. People are more aware of language. It used to be people would just say things which are inappropriate. Now they really monitor themselves and realize they can't say those things. Madelman can't stress enough the importance of getting help immediately if you are the victim of bullying, both in person or online. If you are the victim of bullying, it can be devastating. And I know most victims don't tell a trusted adult because they're fearful of how an adult will react. Maybe an adult will say it's not a big deal. Maybe an adult will intercede in not a positive way. But if you are the victim, please get help because this is so important, not just for the moment, but for long term. For more information on bullying prevention and intervention, visit the Needham Youth Services website at www.needhamma.gov. For the Needham Channel News, I'm Josh Eilberg.